Right, hello. Welcome back to the channel. I'm on Anvil Pier tonight. The sea is as rough as you can imagine. And I know I fished here before when it was rough and I did quite well. So I thought I'd come and give it a bash tonight and see if I can catch a fish or two. So there's no need to cast far here because the river's not that wide. So I've just chucked it into the middle. The only thing I might have trouble is holding the bottom because it is just massive waves. I'll show you in a second. I'll just put this tip light on so that I can see what I'm doing. And then I'll show you around. You should still be able to see how it looks. I'm not going to keep that rod tip too high because it might just get pulled in. I should do it about there. Right, so let's have a look around. There's the rod, the setup, the usual. Onto the green tip light there. But yeah, it's just, I don't know if this is picking up in the camera, but it's just extremely rough. There's a little bit of footage from earlier on when I was just arriving here. I'll show you how rough it was. So I'm just watching down there to make sure there's nothing coming up. And I'm just watching the waves which are over there too, because they're piling along the pier. It's a hollow pier, so they kind of go underneath it. They don't really splash over it. You can probably see there, but they are hammering on the PR on the other side. It's very picturesque. So I actually started down at Hawksley. I went onto the beach. I had one cast next to the scars which run out. But yeah, I was going to have a little try down there, but you know what it is? I just I had a cast and then it was just starting to get dark and I, I just got a little bit nervous. Um, I wasn't scared as such, but just a little bit nervous about fishing on a beach like that in such rough weather on my own. And even though the place where I was at was quite sheltered because it's, it's northerly that the waves are coming in, um, I just, yeah, I got a bit, little bit nervous. And I decided that it wasn't for me tonight. I think that's a sensible thing to do. I think if you are fishing somewhere, you've, you've got to be completely confident in what you're doing. And I just wasn't tonight. I don't know why. And that's how I ended up here. Let's hope it works out for the best. Right, I'm just going to get that in and see how bad the weed is and change the bait. Uh, it doesn't feel too bad. Yeah, there's a bit of weed on it, but not too much. It's just that on the bottom. And a, a bit more up the top. I'll get that off. And I've got a, a fresh bit of carton squid there, which I'll chuck on. Get some fresh scent in the water. So I'd forgot just how absolutely disgusting the cart is. And I'd also forgot how difficult it is to get it into the, the squid when it's defrosted. So I'm struggling a little bit. It's going to take a little bit getting used to again. It's all over my hands. So I am using some latex gloves, as you can see, just to try and minimise the amount of stink that I get onto my hands. So I'm using a gripper 
just to try and hold bottom a bit better. I have got a rotten bottom one, but I'm not going to bother putting that up because I'm not even casting it far. But I am clipping the bait down just to try and preserve its kind of form as it goes out. It's going to be a tough night, I can tell. I've just took that one a little bit left of where I was just to try and come out of the swells a little bit. Now there should be loads of scent in that bait. That's on the bottom there now. I'm just trying to keep the rod tip down a bit as well just because it's getting pulled all over the place. All right, we'll see if we can get one on this, on this cast. Second cast of the night. Well, actually, it's the third cast of the night because I had a cast down on the beach as well. There's another couple of hours until high water. And if these waves come in me further up, I'll move up the harbour a little bit onto the, the calmer water. There's a lot of movement on that. But, oh, that's fishy. That was fishy, wasn't it? I'll just leave it for a little bit. It kind of felt like I felt like I'd been slacklined. I don't know whether there's maybe like a load of weed on it as well as the fish biting. But that was definitely fish bites. I'll just give it a little bit more time. First bites of the night. <laughs> come on, come back. It's a big enough bait, so there should be plenty of scent in the water. Come on, fish. Yeah, little knock again. Something might be having a go at that. Something small. I don't think it's a big fish. Right, come on, fish. Are you coming? How have you gone? I think I'll give it another couple of minutes and then I'll bring it in and see how bad the weed is on it. That was fish bites. That was definitely something having a go. Come back. Right, somebody's just wound us in there. So I'm gonna have to bring this in. Because I'm halfway up the bloody river now. I wanna change the bait on it as well. Oh, that's not too bad. There's a little bit of weed on it, but not too bad at all. I'll have another cast here. See if I can get a, a fish out. Well, it's hard work this, I'd forgot how difficult it is fishing in the cold winter nights. I'll persevere though. Right, I'm gonna get this bait change over. I'll bring you back in a minute. Right, I'm just gonna move from here because it's the waves are getting right up but also there's just loads of people just stepping over me rod and kicking the rod and all sorts they're all here to see the waves and stuff but it's getting a bit of a hassle right let's move oh. 
Right, I've just moved a bit further up the pier. Oh, just to get out of the way of all the people, because you kind of fish when people are like stepping over your rod and kicking it and standing right next to it, right in front of it. I'd rather not have the hassle. <clears throat> so I've just moved to the, the second seat on the pier. There's somebody down at the third seat and there's somebody up at the first seat as well. What I will do here is anything I cut off, I'm chucking it in because it it's messy stuff. This The last thing I want is for the locals to see that. Well, to find loads of cart and squid left lying all over the place. Hopefully all the other anglers will do the same as well. Just clean it up, keep the place nice and tidy. Right, so am I enjoying myself? <laughs> Ask us tomorrow. At the minute, not particularly. I was just, I don't know, I'd, I'd set myself the, the aim of fishing on the beach and I didn't manage to do that for the reasons I said earlier on. And I'm, I don't know, just it's thrown us a little bit. So we have nights like this, so don't we? Well, it just doesn't, it doesn't go to plan. Um, other fishermen are away. They must be sick of the, the influx of people. It's pitch black, we cannot say anything. Yet they, they still want to be on the end of the pier. It was so dangerous on the end of the pier there. They shouldn't be going up the end. But yeah, they're, just, they're walking up to the end of the pier and it's just, it's pitch black and dangerous. Right, get the squid head on as well. Just make it big baits. I'm only going to have another couple of casts. This is just really an introduction to winter fishing again for us. All the joys. I think I'll probably go out with somebody else next time. Just for safety, just, I don't know, just to make it a bit, a bit more pleasant. I had asked Sparta if he was coming out, but he's playing pool. I said it's his pool night. Yeah, I think tonight I'd rather be playing pool <laughs> rather than sitting here on the, the pier covered in absolute gunk. I really wish I'd have bought some worms now. Right, this one's, it's going a bit better than the last one was. At least this one's on. Yeah, it seems to be staying on. The stuff's squidging out of it, but it'll squidge into the water. Let's get it out there before it all comes, comes away. So that's what we're looking at. Disgusting, I know. It's like a big snot, but it works. It's a very good bait. Right, ready. It doesn't need a huge cast, so just I said that should do it. Right. Come on, fishies. a constant stream of people but thankfully they're all heading to the end out of the way of me so I'll only fish here until high tide and then I'll shoot off home pointless fishing in here when the tide's coming out because it'll just be lots of weed and lots of fresh water as well right 
I've had a cup of tea and you know what? <laughs> I'm not staying. It's just, it's, I'm not enjoying it at all. Oh, I'm just getting weeded up by the look of it. That's getting pulled around. But yeah, I'm, I'm not enjoying myself here. And the whole point of fishing is to enjoy yourself, isn't it? So I'm just going to call it a wrap. There's no shame in going home early. If it's not happening, if you're not enjoying it, just pack up, go home, come back another day. Otherwise, if you spend every session like this, kind of like getting annoyed with myself, getting filthy hands, I'm just not, I, I don't know, not psychologically prepared for it properly yet. So I'm just, yeah, I'm just gonna call it a day. I'll wrap up and I'll go home. So it is what it is. It was a fishing session. It hasn't gone great, but that's how it goes sometimes. So I'll see you. tight lines and cheers. And I'll see you again, hopefully on a more enjoyable trip in the very near future. Yeah, that's, that hasn't even come out of the clip. So I haven't even been fishing. <laughs> this just sums up the night. <laughs> <laughs>